Hey besties and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing TXT's comeback. I decided to change some things up and go track by track instead of the other way I did it. But, let's get started with the video. <laughs> Starting off pretty strong with opening sequence. I've noticed TXT has a great habit of making the first track of their albums some of their best songs within those albums and I'm so happy they kept it going with this release. It really fits the vibe of the album and almost tells you what the whole vibe of the album is gonna be. Gotta say, this is probably my favorite song within this release. It's very rugged but not too messy. A good balance. I really love Yeon Joon's voice here. We know he has a great voice. But there's just so much flavor specifically in this song. And I'm so glad we get to hear more of Taehyun's grunge-like voice. A pretty great start to the album. So I'm giving this song a 9 out of 10. Now on to the title track. I'm gonna be honest with you all. I got a little scared after listening to it for the first time because I didn't really like it. I always brag about how great their discography is and I thought maybe, just maybe I could be wrong. However, I listened to it again without the music video with headphones and I saw it. I saw the vision. Not fully, but I saw it. I'm telling you all, listening to a song again closely can really change your mind. Anyways. My opinions changed compared to my initial thoughts. At first, I thought it was boring and just like any other 4th gen, boy group song, but I stand corrected. Even though this song isn't groundbreaking or special, it still has little hints of that TXT touch. Besides BM Goo's line after that chorus, there's nothing really wrong with the song. Little underwhelming? Yes, but when it's only been a few days and two, TXT is one of my alts. So I'm pretty sure I'll end up liking the song more. Another thing that kind of disappointed me was the fact that they took out Taehyun's raspy high note that was in the teaser. They low-key fumbled the bad by doing that, but it's fine I guess. The music video was beautiful though. Overall, it's pretty good. I'm probably just kind of bitter that we didn't get another Blue Hour Slay, but that's fine. Is the title track bad? Not at all. Is it their best? Not even close. But it is well produced song that I can see growing on me soon. So for now, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. My lose again, he came. I'll never be a trust from baby. No. Cause I mean that come on twin and gorka. Of course we have that one slow song that's always in a K-pop album. It's not bad, but I gotta admit. She's kind of boring, really pretty, but songs like that just aren't my taste really. It's not necessarily a skip, but probably my least favorite track, so I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. We got our first subunit song from TXT with Lonely Boy. I like this much better than the previous track, I feel like I can just vibe with it more. Yeon Jun's singing rap part kinda surprised me in a good way. Kind of goes hard not gonna lie. Not much to really say about it. It's a pretty calm song, but I really like the haunting vibe so I'm giving it 8 out of 10. This is probably the most different song in the album but I like it. The song reminds me of something that could have been on the Blue Hour mini album. It's a more upbeat chill song that you can really vibe with. It's also a really nice conclusion to the album too. I think besides opening sequence, this is my other favorite song off of the album. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. So now for the final conclusion on my thoughts of this comeback. Like I said earlier, this comeback is still very fresh and new, so of course my thoughts could very much change over time. But do I think it'll top their previous tracks like Love Song, Blue Hour and Run Away? Definitely not. But it's one of those songs that need time to marinate, at least for me it is. To be honest, I don't mind the concept change that much. Yes, I personally think they thrive more with their more magical concepts, but I hope that if they continue with this concept, they'll mature into more. TXT is a pretty diverse group sonically and they can fit many different genres, so the group itself, 
isn't the issue, the title track isn't even that bad at all, I just think the producers could've still put in more of TXT's known style into it more than trying to shift them away from their other stuff, but besides that, the B-sides are pretty good too, not my favorite mini album from them because Dream Chapter Eternity exists, but I'd give the whole album a solid 7 out of 10 and the comeback a 7.5 out of 10, simply because I like the styling and the vibe of it, overall, a pretty good comeback and yes, I still stand on the fact that TXT has no bad songs yet and let's please keep it that way. And that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed, tell me your thoughts about TXT's comeback below. Please like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye besties.